I'm Melanie Wright and I am Restless Money Editor and I'm here today to talk about consolidating pensions with Mishma Waite who is a Chartered Financial Planner at Fidelius. So I just wanted to get started by asking what people should do if they think they've got missing pensions that they've lost track of. Lots of people have, I'm sure, have got lots of pots of pensions where they've had, you know, multiple employers, especially over a number of years. So, um, yeah, really easy to lose track of the earlier ones because people tend to concentrate on their current pension and the one their employer is paying into. And there's a government pension tracing service. Um, and to be able to kind of look back and see what you had, you often need to know what your employer's details were or the pension provider. If you can provide either one of those and, and your national insurance number, then um, it's worth kind of going and having a look onto that then, and they can probably have a look at what you had, because they'll be able to look at your NI record as well. Um, it's something that I do a lot for my clients as well. M me and my team, we get together and we'll have a look at, um, you know, based on those things that I've said, employer details, um, national insurance number, pension provider, we can usually find out if anyone's got any previous pensions and track them down. So, yeah. And what's the benefit of consolidating all your pensions together into one pot? so easy to forget the previous ones that we had and um and and that's a shame because we want them to be working just as hard really but um it's kind of out of sight out of mind i think with this kind of thing so really important to get them all together um in the sense that you can then concentrate on the forgotten ones so and you know the bigger your pot because it all adds up the more money then that you're working hard on and being you know current and up to date in terms of you know investments rules all of that on so having them all in one place is fantastic in that regard also from an admin perspective you know you've got it nice and tidy one pot um you're not getting 10 statements a year for different pension providers all them going to different addresses because you've moved address you've got it all in one place and um, just makes life a lot simpler and also great for planning going forward for, for when you want to you know get your hands on it so yeah and are there any circumstances where you'd say don't consolidate pensions so I think the main one that springs to mind is where people have final salary pensions. So where they've um, in the past had employers that have, you know, um, provided final salary pensions. I mean, these are gold standard pensions in the sense that, you know, you have a guaranteed income attached to it. A load of benefits that, um, that are not available with the um, defined contribution pensions that we now currently have. Um, so those are ones where you really, really, really um, you, you look at properly and get proper advice on and um, as to how that plays a part in your overall retirement plans but we don't tend to you, you know we don't tend to touch them because they they're the ones that uh, provide you with that guarantee fantastic thanks very much for your time Nishma